Hey everyone, it's Coco. And Bay. Back from plastic surgery. So we've been undergoing some plastic surgery. A little, little Botox, a little nip and tuck. How do we look? What do you think? What do you think? I think not, not bad. It's just subtle, right? Fucking divine. Okay, Bay. let them know why <laughs> we're here to talk. For real. Like We're here really... to discuss the reasons why we have plastic surgery. No, I'm kidding. We'll tell you I don't know this one, but... But I can tell you how we didn't pay for it, and that's from what not. Because what the fuck, what not. <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, we got on board end of 2022 on the what not. We were stoked, excited, super happy, and didn't expect have- the world, but expected a crumb. Well, this is the thing. I was very happy when I did the vintage jewelry. Okay. That was, I think, our best. Whenever we would do Absolutely. that, that were, were, that were our were. best auction. No, but when we did the vintage jewelry, people were interested. Like, for instance, just for example, I put like a lot of jewelry. I started at $5 and we got $27. You know, it was just like more exciting. People were bidding. It was more of like an exciting thing. But, you know, we didn't really... Well, my hair. My <laughs> plastic hit, surgery. You're hitting anyway. me with your hair. But anyway, we really did my make hair. a lot of money. But I was having fun. So, there's a lot of work behind the scenes, putting it all together. And then you're doing a show. You have to be entertaining. You're going to be on. You're going to be live. And da, 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 mm. da, this whole freaking thing. And then when you're done, you're like... Did I sell anything for two dollars? Right. It's like you're doing all this work and you're hoping to get a two dollar bid on an item that you would probably end up selling for ten to fifteen, twenty, thirty, forty dollars or more. Right. On eBay, Macari, or Poshmark. So, after two months of doing that and not being even successful in getting many two dollar bids, uh, unless we did jewelry, like Coco said, it was kind of disappointing, frustrating. And I was kind of just like, you know what? I don't know if I want to do this anymore. But what I did also like about it was the followers that we would get. That was the positive. We did get a lot of followers on our Mm -hmm. socials and engagement. You know, even if people weren't buying anything, we were having fun engaging with the people that were watching Mm -hmm. the auction. But I just feel like I have other friends that do it. And I feel like we just maybe need to, like, change it up, like... My other friends do raffles. Maybe we should do a raffle. Maybe we, you know, I don't know. We should rethink it because, you know, there's a million ways to make money at reselling. And I really just hate to poo-poo it. But what do you think? Like, I, I, I want to poo-poo it. But what about the uh, $75? But then we got an email the other day. That's what we want. From Whatnot. Right. Offering us $75 to set up an interview with them to tell them... Yeah. Why we haven't gone live in two months. Well, yeah, they, they sent us an email. Like, they noticed we weren't doing it in a long time. And if we would sit and chat with them live in an interview, they would give us $75. A- sem- $75 Amazon gift card. A gift card. Okay, but still good. Still. Yeah. Absolutely. So, I was like, okay. I go to... You have to set up an appointment. I go to set up right. an appointment. March. Completely booked up. Set up for April, it says. I go to set up for April. April! Completely booked. Mm. So I can't set up in April. I can't set up in March. That tells me there's a lot Mm. of people out there that feel the same way. Right, that stop doing it and they're asking them. Right. Exactly. So not only did I get screwed out of my $2, I got screwed out of $75 now. Mm. We could still book it. It's just going to take a little while. So I don't know. I really would like to try it at least two more times. And just come up with something, you know, maybe something more creative to get people excited. What do you think? I want people to excite me. I want you to go down below and drop comments and tell me. Should I give it another try? Should I listen to Coco? Yes, yes. Please, people, if you're watching this, just take like two seconds to tell Bay to let us try it a couple of more times. Because I have some tricks up my sleeve. Don't you want to see my tricks? 
people, do you want to see my tricks? I want to know if people out there have tricks and if they're being successful and whatnot, mm -hmm. if they're being frustrated and whatnot, if they are wanting to get on whatnot. I, I, mm -hmm. I want to know. So give us your whatnots, pluses, minuses, pros, cons, good, bad, uglies. Drop them below. Also, while you're down below. While you're down below. While you're down below. Fondle the subscribe button. No, that's disgusting. And ring the bell. <laughs> Don't listen to that. That's terrible. Ring the bell. Hit subscribe. And give us a thumbs up. But more importantly, drop the comments. Because I, I... No BS. All fun and games aside. Complete business. I want to know, legit, what your thoughts are. Okay, we got to wrap it up because we have a Botox session starting in 20 minutes. And whatnot's... Still not paying for it in 20 minutes. <laughs> okay, everyone. We'll see you soon. We'll see look forward to your comments. But bye, bye.